Now, Isamitsu is a Japanese knife brand with a workshop northeast of Tokyo in the Ibaraki Prefecture. At the head of Isamitsu is Abe Yuki and Kanatsu Gaku. Yuki-san was born in Paris in 1979 and Gaku-san was born in Tokyo in 1980. Together, they bring with them a combined experience of 22 years of Japanese kitchen knife know-how. In fact, I know Gaku and am proud to call him a friend. In December 2018, when I proposed to Becca at the Golden Temple in Kyoto, we found ourselves in a knife shop which Gaku worked at. Since then, we've been good friends and kept in touch. But now, back to Isamitsu. What unites Yuki and Gaku is their desire to, and I quote, graduate from feudalistic traditional culture. Now that's deep. What that essentially means is they do recognize the deep history responsible for the incredible craftsmanship that surrounds Japanese kitchen knives, but they don't want to feel trapped only crafting and thinking in a traditional way. Both coming from non-traditional families, their goal is to learn the essence from the wisdom of their great ancestors and continue to refine it in accordance with current technologies and modern ways of thinking, thereby breaking the mold and creating yet another generation who would think similarly to them. Isamitsu is that first step of breaking the mold to create something completely new. As an example, when it comes to the handles on their knives, Gaku-san has told me that the aim is to use a more sustainable method of handle making, which relies on the recycling of old pieces of wood. Spoiler alert, the handle material on my knife is maple, but wood species will change constantly depending on availability, so I find this already to be a super interesting approach and shows how they are really unique and, as they said, non-traditional. They in-house forge weld carbon and iron, but if it comes to matters of stainless steel, forge welding or welding of western style bolsters, I believe, that part isn't done in-house. So if an end product is clad in stainless, for example, that will be using pre-laminated materials. The main reason behind this, they told me, is that forge welding stainless steel needs specialized equipment. And doing it in-house, contrary to what people think, doesn't necessarily improve the quality or drive down the cost. And so why do it in-house if someone could do it better outside of house? Now the following is information Isamitsu would love me to share with all of you and which I think is super informative. And I quote once again, carbon steel has a higher hardness due to the process of hammering. However, this must be done at the appropriate temperature range. The temperature range at which stainless steel melts which can be forge welded, is close to the temperature range at which Shirogami Number no. 1 and Eogomi Super is ruined. Doing this on our own is very risky and inefficient, so we purchase from steel specialists who have special equipment to achieve this at low temperatures. Thereby, we can work in the optimal temperature range for the core steel. About Western bolsters, it's essentially the same. We outsource to an expert to avoid high temperatures when welding. And I think those were some fantastic points of reasoning if you ask me on why the process is outsourced. People always think in-house is better, that's not the case. Now please remember this, as too many people know, because they are stuck in that idea. In-house does not always necessarily mean better. Isamitsu and Image Plan clearly understand that concept. And of course, finally, speaking of Image Plan, since I just mentioned it, let me tell you how Image Plan is different than Isamitsu. Now, in essence, they're pretty much the same brand, but the main difference is that Image Plant is a custom division of Isamitsu. And when I ordered a custom knife from Image Plant, that's exactly what I meant. Isamitsu sells knives that the Smiths decide are part of their everyday stock. Whereas Image Plant, as a consumer, as a third member to that brand, allows you to input your own thoughts and custom requests and essentially, they make it happen. Now you can create the custom product of your dreams and then like a Kickstarter of sorts, if you're able to garner more backers, have some friends to support, the price of the knife goes down for each individual. Again, another really cool and to my knowledge, unseen concept in the Japanese kitchen knife world. For my request, for example, I asked for a knife with X and Y specs, which means my order was placed with image plants. Now, before Isamitsu launched and was released into this beautiful world, Gaku-san reached out to a small group of individuals to learn what are you looking for in life. And this is where I say I stepped in and I was one of those lucky individuals. After our group shared their thoughts, 
gave feedback for I think a few months, Gaku-san was ready to take our custom orders. So, I guess this is a good time to tell you what I ordered because you've been patient to listen about everything I've had to say. Essentially, I've ordered a 270 millimeter Sakimaru Sujahiki made out of Shirogami 1 steel, stainless clad with a Kuriochi finish and a pentagonal mono handle, which ended up being maple, of course, as you already know. Eight wet stones were used to finish the blade. Of those eight, two were natural stones and used at various stages of sharpening and polishing. Well, I hope you'll find my knife as attractive as I do. Thanks for watching and remember, if you like this content, subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up really does help me out. And see you in the next.